good, man. The walleye night bites doing good. Brown trout are eating. So we just arrived in Arkansas. We stopped at TJ's house to get the poles, and we got the boat, and we're out in the water already. <laughs> got Jan driving the truck down. TJ rigging the poles. Sure, you're looking for fish. You want a big one? It's crazy that these are from the river too. Yeah, these are. And they look almost like the ones from the ocean. Yeah, they look exactly like the ones from the ocean. Oh, they're slimy, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just through the tail? Yeah, I kind of run it next to the backbone and I try to come out where his fin's at. It's got a little fin there. Like it helps hide the hook. Yeah, like a little lure. Here you go, you're fishing now. And as soon as you get bit, open it, pinch the line, and let them pull a little bit. A little bit. Like, yeah, like a couple feet. Okay, and then close it and set it? Yeah, and close track. it, let them pull it tight, lower your rod tip, and then set. Day one in Arkansas. Right. And they ran water too. Uh oh. So. You kill it? And that's probably current. It oh. might be, you don't know. No, that's what it feels oh, like a bite. That looks fishy to me. Just remember, once you know he has it, close the bell, then set yeah, the Yeah, let him take a little line. I think he's got it. Yep. Yeah, yep, <laughs> nice on. job. Oh, I got him. Damn, that was fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Jan, yeah, Jan, you might want to. I don't know. Woo! <laughs> that was fast, dude. That was less than two minutes. Nice Literally two minutes. And you said you said 95 percent of the time it's going to be a brown. Yeah, yeah, that's a brown right there. Well, he's just letting me bring him right in. He's just swimming up front right now. Oh, there he goes again. Oh yeah, whoa, that's a nice one. Oh my god, dude, that's my biggest trout of my life. <laughs> Net. Net. How? What's what pound test is this? Six. You're good. You don't need a reel anymore. You 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 always net them. Yep. You don't have to. Okay. This makes it easier to work them. Okay. You just pick up your rod tip and bring his head over here. Nice job, man. Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, mm -hmm. God. Dude, that's a beautiful fish right there. Jeez. So, if he's facing like this, you hold him like these that. two fingers, oh, okay. roll these three, hide them. Oh. Like that. Uh -huh. Get your hands wet and set his. And these fingers right here like this, that way, that's where he's going to look the best, yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> Biggest trout ever of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm going to let it go. We're going to get back out there. TJ's okay. on. Fish number two. <laughs> Should we net it? Yeah, <laughs> Time to get the pole. Right on the lip too. Brown shot number two. His mouth's a little crooked. <laughs> yeah, that's why I broke his jaw when he was younger. You broke his jaw when he was younger? <laughs> <laughs> so these are the same brown trout they have in California. I mean these are German browns, I don't know what Oh okay, these are German browns. Oh yeah, a little notch out there. Yeah, I mean the pattern. Yeah, if he doesn't want to swim, you know to pull him back and Yeah, the pattern looks a little different. Yeah, we're going out stick baiting. I got RC sticks. 
They're good baits. They're not a mega bass, but they still fish good. Just replace the hooks on them. Put some nicer hooks on there, some Omar's, something, you know, high quality. But yeah, when you throw it, you're just going to quarter upstream because we're representing a wounded bait fish. A wounded bait fish is not going to be swimming against this current. It's going to be going down with it. And so you just quarter upstream and try to give that erratic jerk action and it, it just triggers that instinctive bite. They just, they can't stand it. They probably know not to bite it. They can see it's a lure, but they can't stand it. And yeah, it's fun. Try to smack that bank with it every cast. We're pulling them off the bank. The water's been coming up. When the water goes up, the fish go to the bank. So try to really get it right on the bank. Stay on. Oh, yeah. Stay on one. Oh, yeah. Stay on, please. Stay on. They break off a lot on these because they don't get hooked good. I think it's a rainbow. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's shaking his head like crazy. Nice, Jan. Oh, it's a big old boat. <sighs> now you oh, she's on. Yeah. Hold on, let me get this guy. I will. I will. <laughs> He's fired. Do they do they bite on on the the pullback or the drop? So end of day one, we're gonna do a similar type of fishing tomorrow. So we'll continue from there. Maybe get a couple more tips and tricks. By the way, TJ and Jan they've got their own YouTube channel. It's called TJ and Jan. Check them out. They're about to go to Alaska after this. Arkansas. They're back home visiting. But after they visit here, they're going to go up to Alaska. They're going to be guides up there. Well, TJ's going to be a fishing guide, so Jan's going to be doing the filming. There's going to be a lot of good videos coming out, so check them out. Stay tuned tomorrow. I know you can't see anything right now, but Jan is on a big fish. It's pretty close. It's right there. Oh, he's going on there he is. Don't reel anymore. You need to pick the rod tip up. How? I can't pick it up too hard. Got him. Nice, baby. <laughs> mm. That's a good one, dude. That is a good one. Camera doesn't do it justice, but holy man. That is a big brown trout. I got it. Shoo. Just over yeah, 25. 25. Nice, look at nice fish. Put it closer to him. Oh, yeah. And he's off.